If you're struggling with your chipping, sometimes you need to do something completely different. So I was watching a tournament last week and saw Matt's Fitzpatrick uh, chipping. And what I noticed about it was he was gripping it left hand below right. So I've never actually tried this uh, and I've literally come to the practice ground today to give it a go. And I'm pleasantly surprised. I used to put that way uh, and fairly recently I changed to a, a saw grip. Uh, but what I've noticed with this technique is how reliable it, it feels and you get that sensation of real control through the club head rather than the kind of club overtaking your hands. Um, so if I just demonstrate what I was seeing, so normal chipping set up other than the grip was completely the other way around. So this would be a conventional grip and what I noticed him doing was he had his hands the opposite way around. Now, I've hit a few shots doing this just to get a feel for it. And what we need to avoid is this release of the club head. Now, when your left hand's below your right, if you get that involved, you really do thin the golf ball and it can shoot off over the other side of the green. So what I feel that you need to do with this one is the angle that you create at setup, we just maintain that through impact. So you can see how now my hands are still forward rather than the club head overtaking my hands. So if I just show you what that looks like doing this correctly, so hands are forward and just keep them forward. And that's come out totally under control, which I'll show you from the side in a second. So hands forward and keep them forward. So the ball's got a little bit of spin on it, uh, but what I'm finding there is the club head feels now like it's going at the same speed as my arms rather than that acceleration that you can get sometimes if you're struggling with your chipping. The other thing I feel is, is, is though my weights just move slightly forward. Um, I haven't done that on purpose, it's just what I'm observing. And it feels like it stays there just nice and relaxed. Just keep those hands going forward. The smoother you can make the stroke, the better, I would say. So just keeping it that way. And that one has almost gone in the hole. So just showing you this from down the line. So I've actually gone to a split hand grip rather than an overlapping grip. Just feels more comfortable for me. At setup, I'm just feeling though the shaft is slightly forward. And all I'm trying to do is maintain that position through impact. And that actually feels really nice. It feels like it's coming pretty much out of the center of the golf club. And there isn't that sense of flick of, of the wrist cocking too quickly through impact, but actually just maintaining this lovely angle. And if you keep it smooth, you could start to get some quite nice results. I actually, I like it that much. I think I'm going to play with it. I need to do it a bit more practice, but confidence-wise, feels really safe. I like it. So if you're struggling with your put uh, with your chip in, give this, give it a go. Why not? Um, as, as I like to say, there's no one way of doing this. And if there's an easier way of doing it and something that's reliable and it works under pressure, I don't see any reason why you shouldn't be giving it a go.